Well, state lawmakers delved into the issue of what to do with Ill illegal immigrants again today. 24 Hour News 8's Jim Shella reports there is a new approach this year. To get loans. State Senator Mike Delf failed at his attempt to create a new immigration law last year using arguments that drew charges of racism. Today, he produced Julie Myers, the head of Immigration and Customs Enforcement in the Bush administration, who endorsed his latest proposal. As a way to ensure that jobs in Indiana are held for U.S. citizens in Indiana and others who are legally authorized to work in the United States. Myers oversaw raids like this one in South Bend in 2007. It produced the arrest of 36 illegal immigrants and federal charges against Janko Composites, a company that this week agreed to pay large fines. We found that those employers who had a business model of hiring illegal aliens were really cheating the taxpayers. This is not a perfect world. Former Congressman John Hostetler, who chaired an immigration subcommittee, also came to support the bill that calls for suspending business licenses from companies who hire illegal workers. The American Legion is also on board. There can be no homeland security until the United States takes control of its borders. There can be no fair labor practices with the workforce composed of illegal workers. It's the first of three hearings on the Delft proposal. A state Senate committee heard only from supporters of the immigration bill today. There will be a public hearing tomorrow and next week. Opponents will get their turn. Delft still needs to convince some lawmakers that this is not an issue better left for Congress.